Hello there, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you're all doing great. So we are in like day five of the UK media still obsessing over Meghan's red dress at the charity gala. And this salty island is still freaking out. Part of the reason why they're still obsessing over Meghan's dress is because the left behinds were not giving them anything in recent days. Kensington Palace hasn't had any new briefings about how much William hates his brother. And as usual, Duchess Doolittle is obviously hiding in that palace and doing nothing. But well, finally, Prince William appeared, I guess after so much jealousy of seeing his brother and his sister-in-law shining and being on the spotlight. So he stepped out at the BAFTA's headquarters. And well, if you don't know, Prince William is the president of the BAFTAs. And he attended this event also at the beginning of this year, that is in February. And he has also done the same now in October. And last time, Prince William's attendance at the BAFTAs was so, so awkward. He was saying all the wrong things. And you could just judge from this picture that actually trended on all social media platforms. The way these ladies were looking at Prince William like, huh, what did you just see? And according to uh, news outlets, this is what actually happened. So William shook these ladies' hands in the meeting at London's Royal Albert Hall, but then turned his attention to McKenna Bruce, who had just won the Rising Star Award for her turn as a sexual assault victim in How to Have Sex to, con to congratulate her. And this is what William told her. I haven't yet watched your film. I think it looked like you had a lot of fun. Well, this man had not watched her film, yet he thought her being a victim of sexual assault was actually so much fun for her. You know, as a president of the BAFTAs, this is actually so weird. He should have first even familiarized himself with these films before uh, opening his mouth to say the most awkward things. And well, it seems like this year wasn't any different. Well, it seems like this time it wasn't any different because Prince William was also saying like the most awkward things. And you can just judge by the faces of these actors. And apparently, this is what Prince William said, that we need people from all backgrounds on our screens. Adding that Prince says inspiring young people in film industry is crucial as he thanks actors for supporting BAFTA Basari Fund in his name. Well, the issue is when he says we need people from all backgrounds on our screens. Well, he means on our screens, but not in their family, right? Well, already the film industry is um, including people from all backgrounds. But the only place that has failed to um, take in people from all backgrounds is the royal family. So that is where they draw the line. And it's actually so weird hearing him say such kind of things. No wonder these people are like, hmm, what are you referring to? So much words, but no actions. In fact, these members of the royal family's actions don't even match anything they preach. And it's so awful. And it seems like William is actually trying so much to be someone that he's not. He's always trying so much to be this cool person, this relatable person. And then at the end of the day, he ends up embarrassing himself. He did the same in February at the BAFTAs and he's now doing the same. Well, I think uh, William should just be natural. I think that will work for him. Instead of looking like he's throwing fists, like uh, he's struggling so much to talk. And then at the end of the day, everyone looks at him with these weird expressions. It's so embarrassing, honestly, for the future king of England. 
and just to tell you how the uk media really hate prince william not not like hate hate but the way they shade him so gb news had written this article saying how prince william pictured for the first time since prince harry's successful tour in southern africa now tell me if this is not shade well Obviously, Harry's visit to Southern Africa was such a huge success and he did a lot of work. Not to mention he had gone to three continents in just a period of two weeks. While Prince William, the taxpayer-funded royal, was hiding in his palace. And then he appears all of a sudden saying the most awkward things and things that don't even match their actions. Well, one thing I'm very sure about is that even the British media themselves are so embarrassed by these royals that they are left with in the UK because they're so incompetent, they are so boring, and people are not even interested in them. In fact, here is even a clip of Prince William um, arriving at this event. It seems like these popularity polls of the UK media saying how Prince William is so popular have been all false because I don't see as many people waiting to see Prince William. I don't see people cheering as Prince William arrives at the event. Everyone seems so calm. In fact, the two people who were standing there apart from the 20 security guards of Prince William didn't seem that excited. They just wanted to go about their business and they were being blocked by the security. So uh, people are not interested in this royal family, especially William, Kate, Charles and Camilla. They're so boring. And the times they appear and people actually gather in large numbers, it's usually because they want to boo them. That is just the reality of things. And do you remember when Prince Harry came to the UK for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, the way there were so many people lined up to greet him. It was so amazing to watch. I've come to realize very few individuals actually hate Harry and Meghan in Britain. And those are the ones who've been brainwashed by the UK media. But majority of the public adore them. Because even when you listen to them calling into these TV stations or radio stations, you hear them saying very beautiful things about uh, the Sussexes, them agreeing with their stories. So it's so obvious that the hate campaign is not, uh, is not actually selling when it comes to the British public, only very few individuals. So, um, and that differentiates the way that Prince William is welcome whenever he goes anywhere and how Harry is welcome whenever he goes anywhere. And another thing that I wanted to share with you is this article on UK News saying that Kells in Britain, royal family on the prospect of Prince William potentially being crowned king sooner than expected. Well, this war between Prince William and King Charles has been going on for like the longest time. This Game of Thrones has been going on for a long time. Prince William wants to be king with all his might and he wants it very, very soon. While King Charles, on the other hand, seems to be not so confident in Prince William's reign. In fact, uh, when King Charles was diagnosed with cancer, there were talks about Prince William taking over the reign very soon. And then leaks from Buckingham Palace were saying how King, uh, King Charles doesn't trust in Prince William's reign. He doesn't trust Prince William as being a good king. And I was like, hold up. I thought uh, you adored this son and you hated Prince Harry. But well, it seems like things aren't good when it comes to King uh, Charles and Prince William. They only put up a facade when they are in public. But the truth is nothing is as it seems. William is power hungry and he's so thirsty in proving that he is going to be a better king than, him, than his father. In fact, he has said that several times. But on my side, I am not ready for King William. I don't know how his reign is going to be like, but I am not ready for this. Well, it's not like I even prefer King Charles. None of them are better. But King Charles, in some sense, isn't so full of jealousy or is so competitive like Prince William is. Prince William loves to compete with Prince Harry. He's so jealous. He's always leaking stories to the 
press about how he hates Harry. But King Charles on the other side, I don't even need to get there. You all know how of a terrible person he is to Prince Harry and Meghan. But Prince William's reign is definitely going to be so much worse than Prince uh, than King Charles's. Maybe maybe you can just wait and see how everything is going to be like. Anyway, uh, I think I've shared enough with you. You can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this. And I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Bye.